Hi everybody, this is win video number three and this is going to be all about how to write a summary. Uh, I am outside here on the farm on a beautiful day. I'm out sort of close by the road here and I've got some of the horses behind me. You might be able to see them. Uh, so what is a summary? Well, a summary can be used in every class and every content area from art to gym to uh, nutrition to science to math, language arts. And the goal of a summary is to reduce a large amount of text or information into just main points or sort of a shorter, more friendly version. So key points of summarizing. You want to find the most important ideas in a text. You want to ignore irrelevant or sort of extra information you don't need to know. And then number three is you want to incorporate those central ideas into a meaningful way. So sort of into a paragraph or something that makes sense to you. So why should you summarize? Well, it improves your memory for what was read or watched or listened to. And it allows you to focus on keywords and concepts instead of trying to remember everything, you remember what's the most important. So you should ask questions before. So think about either while you're reading or while you're listening, what is the main idea? What are the critical details? What information can you get rid of or that you deem is unnecessary? Keep those in your head while you're writing a summary. All right, enjoy this YouTube clip. Oh, your goal when you write a summary It's telling the whole story but short and easily Start writing now and use all the things you know And your summary will show all the skills you learned before But we, we summarize all the time in our daily lives. You may summarize something uh, interesting that you read in the news, or you may summarize a uh, movie plot line for a friend, or a lesson for a classmate who has been sick and missed the class. And at some point in your academic career, you will have to write a summary. Let a summary be as brief as possible. So you don't want to get too specific with details like numbers, statistics, dates, figures, that kind of thing. Remember that a, a summary needs to be concise, um, brief. You don't want to be too descriptive. All right, so a good summary should follow and maintain good paragraph structure. So you want a topic sentence a, and supporting sentences and a concluding sentence. I hope you enjoyed that clip on note taking. It looks like Blaze. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. Blaze has decided to join me up over here. They're very curious creatures. They always want to know what's going on. So I want to give you a strategy for a summary, sort of like I give you the Cornell notes for uh, taking notes. This one's called a sum it up strategy. So basically you read or listen, whatever it is that you're looking to summarize and list the main ideas. Then the job is write a summary using as many of the main idea words as you can. Now there's a trick to it. You consider it sort of the $2 strategy. So if you think of each word as 10 cents and you only get to spend $2, your summary should be about 20 words, give or take. That usually works out to be about a paragraph and that's three to eight sentences. So summary time, here we go. So why is it important for you to be able to do a summary? Why is it that I make you do a summary after every video? What are the questions that you should ask? And uh, the sum it up strategy, we said using the uh, $2 or the 10 cents per word and looking to only spend $2 or a one paragraph, three to eight sentences. So I hope you have enjoyed your weekend. It is absolutely gorgeous here on the farm. And let's even get one more shot of Blaze. There he is. Hey Blaze. All right, thanks for watching.